So as somebody who really loves old vintage Zildjian symbols, I've cobbled together a pretty decent method from pretty good sources over the years of how to look at the stamp and tell a lot of what I want to know about the symbol's age, uh, you know, whether or not it is, number one, vintage and of interest to me, and number two, sort of ballpark which decade it came from by looking at a handful of tells. Uh, so I figured I'd share that with you real quick. Um, and hopefully that's useful information to you. Let's, you know, all the standard disclosures here apply that this is not a scientific, fully scientific method. There are some exceptions, a real expert, you know, someone on Antiques Roadshow or, you know, a true vintage Zildjian expert probably has some other things to say about how to go about this, but this has served me well. So I hope it serves you well too. So to be clear, I'm going to be talking about just the vintage Zildjian A's or the Avidus or Avidus symbols. Um, I recently learned that I'd been saying it wrong. I've been calling it Avidus, and I guess the founder's name is actually pronounced Avidus. So I'm trying to correct myself and learn as I go. Um, the script of the stamp is always the same, and the first thing we want to know is, was it actually stamped? In other words, is it embossed, pressed into the surface of the metal, little canyons of lettering, as opposed to etched on the surface? Um, if it's etched, it's modern. Uh, if it's stamped, then we're in business. And by vintage, we're gonna establish the cutoff that vintage means 80s or earlier. So the first thing that I'm gonna be looking at is the word Zildjian CO. Um, if it is, if the CO is is big C, big O, it's 80s, we're done. Uh, all the other errors is gonna be big C, little O, where the little O is underlined. Uh, the next thing we're gonna be looking at is in the Arabic script, there is a space uh, near the end of the script that looks kind of like this. And inside that space, sometimes there's a triangle of three dots, two on bottom, one on top. The presence or absence of those dots is gonna help us a lot. So if there are no dots, but the script is all, all the lettering is sort of thin and the same depth, that's 70s, that's what's called the thin stamp. If it's the thin stamp, but there's three dots, that's 60s. Um, if it is, three dots and the word Zildjian or Zildjian CO, that line is a little, a little bit noticeably deeper and bolder with three dots. That is still 60s, but a little bit earlier in the 60s, transitioning back to the 50s, no three dots, but the Zildjian line will be a little deeper and bolder than uh, the word Avidus. If it looks rolled, that the Z and the O of Zildjian CO are noticeably deeper and the N is kind of lighter. That's because it was rolled on as opposed to pressed on. That happened in the 40s. Uh, there's a special stamp I've never actually seen myself in the 50s that will have the three dots and will have the word Zildjian outlined in bold, or out, excuse me, outlined in like block lettering. That's called the big stamp. That is definitely the 50s. Again, we'll have three dots and the word Zildjian, unlike any other stamp, will have outlined block lettering. Uh, another thing that can help tell you that it's older, that it's in the 40s, is if the actual hole in the symbol is smaller than usual. Um, the sort of new standard size came into being in the 50s um, or in the late 40s. This is part of the non-scientific part here, but if it's a small hole, it's definitely gonna be earlier than the 50s. I can tell you that much. Um, that is basically, in a nutshell, what I have for you. There are some different uh, rules and tells that you can use to try to date the stamping on, say, uh, the Zildjian Istanbuls, which are rare and some are very valuable. Um, the Ks, being able to tell an early American K from other Ks, there's some other rules there. And the Constantinopoles, which I'll briefly touch on here because the Constantinopoles, they're fun. They're a lot like the A's. They tend to be just a little tiny bit heavier, uh, but they are made of the same alloy. They're from the 70s, almost all of them. Um, so those are great symbols too. Um, anyway, I hope this was useful. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any other tricks or tips or you, you think I've got it all wrong in some way, you know, go ahead and comment and let's all teach each other and uh, whatnot. And otherwise, you know, happy hunting and uh, hope you find a great symbol out there and... Uh, yeah, take it easy.